Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we will discuss IITJE Physics Numerical. Chapter is Motion in Two or Three Dimension, Part 1. Before we begin, we have a humble request for you. Please subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel among your friends and relatives. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us. Let us start the lesson. Okay, now let us start with today's class. This video tutorial is organized in such a way that this suits to the student who are appearing for IITJE examinations. It also suits to the people who are appearing for other engineering college examinations, national or state level. For example, West Bengal Joint, Bihar Joint, Delhi Joint, and UP Regional College Examinations, etc. In this video tutorial, we will discuss different types of problems with proper explanation. So, first type we will discuss for this chapter, motion in one or two dimension, would first type is position and velocity vectors. First question is, a rat has x component and y x and y coordinates as 1.1 meter, 3.4 meter at time t1 is equal to 0 and coordinates 5.3 meter minus 0.5 meter at time t2 is equal to 3 seconds. For this interval, find the components of the average velocity and the magnitude and direction of the average velocity. So, we can write 1.1 as x1 and 3.4 as y1. Similarly, we can write 5.3 meter as x2 and minus 0.5 meter as y2. t1 is equal to 0 it is given and t2 is equal to 3 seconds it is also given. So let us write all the given quantities then before starting the sum. So we will write all the known quantities which are given in the sum. Now we have written x1 is equal to 1.1 meter, y1 is equal to 3.4 meter, x2 is equal to 5.3 meter and y2 is equal to minus 5, minus 0.5 meter. t1 is equal to 0 and t2 is equal to 3 seconds. Now we will find out the value for the displacement towards the x direction and the displacement towards the y direction then we'll find after finding out the displacement in both the direction in x and y we'll find out the average velocity towards x direction and then average velocity towards y direction so uh, to find out the answer of a so let us find it out So, this average velocity towards x direction or we can say the x component of average velocity is displacement dx delta x towards x direction or displacement towards x axis 
upon delta t. So displacement towards x axis we can write x2 minus x1 and change in time delta t we can write t2 minus t1. We will put the value of x2 and x1 from this given x2 minus x1. So 5.3 minus 1.1 and time t2 minus t1 that is 3 minus 0. Upon solving we get 1.4 meter per second. Now, similar way, we will find the velocity, average velocity towards the y component or y axis. So, we can write here v average y is equal to delta y upon delta t. Delta y we can write y2 minus y1 upon delta 2 we will write t2 minus t1. Putting the values of delta y2 and y1 from here we get minus 0.5, minus 3.4, 3.0, minus 0 is equal to, upon solving we get minus 1.3 meter per second. Now the B, B part. So let us see the question before seeing the solution again. The magnitude and direction of the average velocity. So magnitude and direction, it is simple. Just what we will do, we will find out, uh, first we will draw the coordinate system and here we will mark the components of average velocity towards x-axis and components of y, uh, average velocity towards y-axis. So, we know that the angle theta the direction, first we are finding out the di direction. So, angle theta that is angle alpha is equal to components of average velocity towards y axis upon component of uh, average velocity towards x axis. So, v average y upon v average x. Now, we will put the value of v average y that is 1.3 meter per second and v average x as 1.4 meter per second which is equal to minus point 9268. So, upon solving, we get this value. So, value of alpha is equal to 42.9. 42.9 we got. So, but this is the angle we, which we need to find the uh, as alpha. So, alpha is equal to 360 minus whole angle is 360. If we subtract this, this big one, this one, then we will get this angle which you need to find out. So, 360 minus 42.9 which is equal to uh, 31, uh, 317 degree approximately. Now, the magnitude of uh, average velocity, we know the formula for magnitude of average velocity if x and y components are known then uh, under root uh, x component square plus y component square. So, in, the, in our case, v average is equal to under root v average x component square plus v average y component square. Putting the values of x component and y component, we get uh, and upon solving, we get 1.9 meter per second. Now, let us see the next question. The next question A tiger is at origin, at the origin of coordinate system t1 is equal to 0 for the time interval from t1 is equal to 0 to t2 is equal to 12 seconds. The tiger's average velocity as x component as point, uh, minus 3.8 meter per second. And y component this. So, some corrections. So, and and y component as 4.9 meter per second. Now, at time t2 is equal to 12 seconds. 
what are the x and y component of the tiger and how far the tiger how far is the tiger from the origin so a uh, few things all right what are known to us so x1 and y1 is known because it is origin so x1 is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 0 and also t1 is equal to 0 so and we also know the x2 that is x component is minus 3.8 meter per second and y2 that is 4.9 meter per second and t2 is equal to 12 seconds so now we will find out the values now t1 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 0 these are known components again x2 is equal to minus 3.8 y2 is equal to 4.9 meters per, per second t2 is equal to 12 seconds so these are all known values which we have picked up from the sum now we know distance is equal to average velocity multiplied by time so distance x is equal to means x component of the distance is equal to v average towards x direction multiplied by delta t so v average towards x direction is minus uh, 3.8 we have put this value again multiply by the change in time that is 12 second after solving we get 45.6 meter similarly y component is v average of y component multiply by delta t that is 4.9 here we got 4.9 multiply by 12 that is 58.9 now 58.9 we got the y component we got the x component then the magnitude r will be under root x square plus y square that is under root put the value of x and y and we upon solving we got the answer 74.4 meter so let us see the next question the third question is a moving dot in a computer screen has position r is equal to 4.0 centimeter plus 2.5 centimeter square uh, centimeter per second square t square i plus 0.5 centimeter per second t z a find the magnitude and direction of the dot average velocity between t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 2 find the magnitude b question b find the magnitude and direction of the instantaneous velocity at t is equal to 0 t is equal to 1 second and t is equal to 2 seconds c sketch the dot trajectory from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 2 seconds and so the velocities calculated in part b so uh, this question has three parts we need to solve one by one targeting each part at a time now so first thing we will write this equation and from this equation for different value of t we will find out the value of x and y components so let us write the equation first r is equal to four centimeter plus two point five centimeter per second square t square bracket close this is value of i plus 5.0 centimeter per second t this is j now
at t is equal to 0 put the value of t is equal to 0 here so what we get we'll get r as if we put t is equal to 0 this whole portion will be 0 this whole portion will be 0 so what is left only 4.0 centimeter nothing else is left correct and what is left i this is the and i is left with us next at t is equal to at t is equal to 2.0 seconds r's value is put the value of t as 2 then r's value will be 14.0 14.0 centimeter i and uh, plus 10 centimeter j this is the whole value now v average v average x is equal to delta x upon delta t which is equal to 10.0 centimeter upon 2 seconds from where we got 10 so we got 10 this is the i component this is the i component so i components value is how much 14 this is x2 you can say say this is x2 and this is x1 so x2 minus x1 will be 14 minus 4 that is 10 centimeter upon t2 minus t1 is 2 minus 0 that is 2 so this is 5 5 centimeter per second now v average y component will be equal to delta y upon delta t so delta y is how much we have to check it delta y delta y here y2 is this much 10 there and y2 here is 0 so 10 minus 0 that is 10 only upon 10 centimeter upon t2 minus t1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 2 minus uh, uh, 2 seconds that is so this is also 5 centimeter per second so we have till now we have found the x component of the velocity average velocity and y component of the average velocity now we will find the average velocity model uh, the magnitude of average velocity and the direction of average velocity so to find out the magnitude and direction what we'll do we'll make the coordinate for the next part we have drawn a coordinate system where we have marked v average x as in the x-axis v average y in the y-axis and this the magnitude of v average we, which we have to find out and the angle may, is uh, made by the v average uh, uh, the resultant of v average with the v average x component as alpha so v average can be written as under root v average x square plus v average y square which is equal to 
71.1 centimeter per second how we got it we have to put the value of v average x square and v average y square so if we put the v average x square and v average y square so 5 square plus 5 square will be equal to under root 50 so under root 50 if we solve it we will get 7.1 7 centimeter per second now to find out the direction the angle alpha then tan alpha is equal to v average y upon v average x which is equal to 5 upon 5 so of course it is meter meter uh, centimeter per second so we can write 1 therefore alpha is equal to 45 degree this is the direction so now part b part b can uh, we have to find out the velocity so it is simple just we know that the derivative of displacement is equal to velocity so if we find out the derivatives of r we'll get five point zero centimeter per second square t t i i and 50.0 uh, sorry 5.0 centimeter per second j when t is equal to 0 vx will be equal to 0 and vy will be equal to vy will be equal to 5 centimeter per second and if we put the value uh, the, the uh, if we want to find out the direction the direction theta will be equal to 90 degree again when t is equal to 1 second then so how we got this value just put the value of t here so t here this whole thing becomes 0 there is no t so this left so y component is 5 and x component is 0 similarly put the value of t is equal to 1 we get vx is equal to 5 centimeter per second we get vy is equal to 5 centimeter per second and we get theta is equal to 45 degree similarly if we put t is equal to 2 second then vx is equal to we get 10 centimeter per second vy is equal to vy is equal to 11 centimeter per second and theta will be equal to 27 degree so this is the value for different values of t value 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 of velocity for diff, uh, of x component and y component for different value of 
uh, t that is 0 1 and 2 now the third part the third part we have to plot the graph for these values so it can be done easily just let us draw a graph coordinate system where we can write the graph as this now it will start from so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 so these are x and again y axis can be written as 2 4 6 8 10 12 10 12 in this way this is y axis now it will start from 4 here the velocity will be in this way way r is equal to 0 v this way and r is equal to 0 so this and again at t is equal to 1 we got 5 we got here so t is equal to 0 we got 5 here so 5 t is equal to 1 also we got 5 uh, 5 and x 0 so this will be uh, not here this will be uh, this side so in the middle so y axis is equal to here we got t is equal to 0 as x axis as 0 and y axis as as 5 centimeter per second so we can write it as so here at t is equal to 0 this much t is equal to 1 here and t is equal to 2 here because we have a t is equal to 0 as uh, uh, the coordinates are vx 0 vy 5 vx 5 t is equal to 1 we have vx 5 and vy 5 so uh, this point and for uh, t is equal to so vx 5 vy5 is this and v for t is equal to 2 vx10 and vy11 is this point approximately we have taken so uh, this is the graph and this is the end of today's class before we close please subscribe like and share our YouTube channel please click on the subscribe button to support us thank you very much for watching our videos and supporting us